I am going to launch one car of Toyota in, in this month at 28 in Delhi that is on flex engine just like that Camry they, we can use 100% bioethanol and they will generate 40% electricity and before in Germany the 1000 km train travel by using green hydrogen so this is the future now I have got a green hydrogen, a hydrogen car so it's not a big task yes, now Tata's are looking at making 50,000 uh, yes, electric cars this year now actually today the electric vehicle demand is increased by 500 percent increase of the toll income by 15,000 crore per year and now we are going to launch a mobile number plate technology by which there will be no toll naka and the choice of the people in the world is India so we should take the advantage of all this opportunity and to make Indian economy the number one world economy that is exactly we can do it with the cooperation, coordination and communication between the all stakeholders and we can fulfill the dream of the Honorable Prime Minister. Just eight days before, I launched one truck on LNG. And the cost of diesel, suppose for 100 rupees, the LNG cost is 40 to 50 rupees. So 40 ton of truck on LNG, it is to be a future for the country. At the same time, uh, electric truck is now ready. And we want to make electric highway. Our plan is to make e-highway from Delhi to Jaipur. So we can use electric bus, electric truck. So that can reduce the cost because the fossil fuel cost is very big. And at the same time, pollution is a big problem. Okay. I am very much <laughs> against the fuel, fossil fuel particularly. And I am confident that in the next four or five years, we will have maximum electric vehicles, uh, electric uh, vehicles on flex engine. I am going to launch one car of Toyota in is this month at 28 in Delhi that is on flex engine. Just like that Camry, they, uh, we can use 100% bioethanol and they will generate 40% electricity. So there will be ethanol, methanol, biodiesel, bio LNG, CNG, and then uh, green hydrogen is the fuel for the future. Just uh, I saw a uh, 10 days before in Germany, the 1000 kilometer train travel by using green hydrogen. So this is the future. Now I have got a green hydro uh, hydrogen car. So it's not a big task now. So by changing the fuel, we can reduce the cost on the fuel. At the same time, making the access control highway, we will reduce the time. And that is the reason that before end of 24, present logistic cost, which is 14 to 16 percent, we will reduce up to 10 percent. That is the target we have. Right. Uh, Yes, Tata's are looking at making 50,000 uh, yes. electric cars this year. Now, actually today, the electric vehicle demand is increased by 500%. Mm -hmm. Even electric two-wheeler, in a, we have 250 startup, small startup, making good electric scooters. So, I feel that in due course of time, within a year, you will see the difference and there will be a lot of e-vehicle. Now, no, no one want to purchase uh, petrol or diesel car because mm -hmm. I have got electric car in my house in Nagpur. Mm -hmm. So by spending 25 to 30,000 rupees on petrol car mm -hmm. and electric car it is only 2,000 rupees mm -hmm. and no pollution. Sometimes even 600 for a scooter sir. Yes. And now the most important thing is the battery chemistry is also changing. Right. The lithium ion battery then with sodium ion, zinc ion, the aluminum ion and the just our Faridabad research laboratory of Indian oil they invented the aluminum air technology. Mm -hmm. And the start of the research scholars, the scientists, ISRO, all ARI, mm. they are all working in the direction, even the private companies also, right. that due course of time we will get the alternative solution for lithium ion battery mm. that will reduce the cost. And electric vehicle cost will be less than petrol and diesel vehicle. Right, good to hear Actually, that. Actually, when how you there will be now there is a problem. Now in electric bus. The transport minister uh, from Himachal was asking me, the charging system from one company is different and other company is different. So there is a problem. So now I have given my officers this task that you should find out the solution that there will be a one charging system belongs to all buses. Mm. Otherwise for every company they have to make new charging system. Mm.
and I remember you used to be very, very passionate about seaplanes as well. Once we met you in Parliament, and this was, I think, when the government had just taken over, and you were very uh, bullish about the potential of seaplanes. But just to ask you about uh, uh, sky buses, do you think that's a solution to some of the congested cities in India, like Bengaluru? Actually, in Bangalore, we don't have land to acquire. We cannot increase the width of the road. Even in Pune also, there is a problem. We, it's very difficult to get the land. So that's the reason that we can take in the Philippines. The Doppelmer has made the system very nicely. In the sky, the double-decker bus of having capacity of 200 people, is just, that can be the solution. Right. So there are also a lot of technologies. Now, just from Dhaulakua to Manesar, we want to make it mass rapid transport. We are also searching for many technologies. So this can be the solution. First of all, it will not be appropriate to, because these people are related with the approval industry, but we need to discourage the people to purchase more car. That is also a big problem. And they should use the uh, mass rapid transport, something they can use bus and other. We need to have start trolley bus, air conditioned, I just suggest in Mumbai, that you can start probably air conditioned trolley bus just like business class in aviation and that day people can go with that bus. So somewhere we need to discourage one person using one car on the road. That is also a big problem. First of all, I will tell you about the digital infrastructure. In uh, NHI, because of fast track, we have benefited increase of the toll income by 15,000 crore per year. And now we are going to launch a tow mobile number plate technology by which there will be no toll naka. So 100% even in RTO system, as a transport minister, mm -hmm. the 40 services now available to your house, you can take the advantage of it, you don't need to go to RTO office. So this is very important for the country. The Prime Minister's dream is to make Indian economy of $5 trillion. And uh, Atma Nirbhar Bharat is the most important concept. And for that reason, we need to increase productivity. We need more export. For that reason, the Prime Minister is giving a really a good message. Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, and now it is Jai Vigyan ke saath, Jai Anusandhan. So we should give highest priority for research and development. And the other philosophy, which always I like it, that no one is West, no material is West. It is depending upon the appropriate technology, it is depending upon the appropriate vision that you can convert West into wealth. So even we can make the West economy, solid waste and liquid waste management economy of 5 lakh crore. I have just successfully implemented one project in Mathura, 80 MLD sludge in hybrid annuity. The water is taken by Indian oil, giving 20 crore rupees every year. So everywhere there is a possibility that you can convert West into wealth with, with good technology and going for green hydrogen. So my suggestion is for the futuristic economy, this is the time for the country that we are the fastest growing economy. Our future is very bright. The young, talented engineering manpower is the strength for the country. Everybody of the raw material, power, transport and everything is there. And the choice of the people in the world is India. So we should take the advantage of all this opportunity and to make Indian economy the number one world economy. That is exactly we can do it with the cooperation, coordination and communication between the all stakeholders and we can fulfill the dream of our Honorable Prime Minister. Thank you.